the temperature this winter has been really up and down. Um, mostly overall, I'd say it's been a fairly mild winter, um, but we've had some cold periods. And if you don't believe me, just ask this guy. It's cold. I think uh, winter's just about done and I'm hoping the forecasts that I've been hearing um, of a quicker spring and a warmer spring this year uh, is something that we can expect. Uh, we've had an interesting couple of years um, the last few and uh, hopefully we get something a little bit uh, more on the beekeeper's side. So I'm back in the bee shed today. Uh, the fans are running, it's warm outside. Uh, it's about uh, one degree out and uh, that's considerably warmer than what we've had in a bit. Uh, some warm weather we're rolling through this week and we'll see uh, what that brings. Uh, probably get rid of some of the snow and actually make it easier to access some of the bee yards. So uh, looking forward to spring when it comes, probably about another month away from moving the bees away outside according to what our history has been. Uh, so after I've uh, swept up some bees, then we'll I'll take and show you some of the some of the issues I'm running into in my shed here, uh, and then we'll weigh those bees and see what our tally is for the year. Those of you that were following my last video, uh, I had about ten and a half pounds of bees uh, last time, and I figured just as a rough estimate, we were looking at you know 300. I think it was 300 bees per hive at that time don't see much for a heck of a lot of bee drop so I will sweep it up and see what happens all right so as you can see one of the issues that I was dealing with last time and I still deal with uh, is when the temperature comes up uh, my humidity levels also come up Part of that reason is because this old floor is a one inch thick floor and uh, there's no insulation in between. One of the items that I had planned to do but never did um, was to, last year was to put some insulation on in between the floor uh, and then just some uh, subfloor on top of that. But uh, didn't do it, didn't get around to it, should have done it. Uh, and that's causing the cold to come up through the floor. And uh, so the, my bottom most hives, um, they are, the condensation that the hive is creating is freezing um, and actually running down. And you can see here um, what that's causing um, now when it warms up and the fans are running is that condensation starts to melt and it comes out it's kind of a sticky melt and uh, I don't think it does the bees any good as far as condensation if it's dripping on them or anything like that it's it's obviously not good for them um, but so far I'm looking into these colonies and uh, all of them have live populations in them so uh, we just kicked on the fans and uh, hopefully we can get some of this humidity out of the hive as quickly as possible. Some of you might be wondering why none of my gauges in the shed are accurate. Um, well, I can tell you that the only reason that I use the one above my cool stat um, is to get the uh, CO2 uh, within the shed. I have found that it's not accurate to temperature or uh, to humidity. It's usually uh, low on humidity and high on temperature. Uh, when I show my other gauges, then we're kind of looking more into the range where it is at. 
um, with uh, the one showing about three degrees Celsius and 70% humidity. And uh, that's where it was at at the shed. And by the time we left, it had come down to about uh, 60. Uh, I have the ability on my, uh, my fan controller, um, I have the ability to set it according to the humidity in the room. Um, but I had it off before. I only turn that on when it does get a little bit warmer. So we're at uh, 8 pounds, 11 ounces. Just over half a pail of bees. So just ran some quick math on that. We're at about 19 and 3 quarter pounds. If we assume there's 3,200 bees in a pound, then we're at about 550 to 600 bees per five frame nuke that uh, uh, have left the hive due to attrition or any other means. Uh, to me that still seems uh, relatively low. Uh, very little sweeping to do actually this year. Thanks so much for watching. If you got to this point in the video you either found it somewhat interesting or you're just really bored. Uh, either way, uh, if you want to see more of what we're doing uh, as we go through this coming season, uh, be sure to give us a subscribe uh, and uh, likes on the uh, video always help the uh, YouTube algorithm.